So from my perspective, diversity is an incredibly important component of any sort of teamwork that we do. For example, in our class, the newest class of astronauts, there are eight individuals, four women, four men, six military, two civilian, all from very different backgrounds and very different careers and past experiences. But everybody brings something unique to the team. Everybody brings a different perspective and a different set of skills in order to solve a problem. Uh, I think that really is the only way to have an effective team that works together well in order to truly solve a problem. If we had eight people that were exactly the same, then everybody would be stumped by the same thing. It would be incredibly boring as well. And so for me, you know, anything that happens, any kind of situation that happens for us, let's say on the International Space Station, for example, we have a variety of tasks, we get a variety of diverse set of training, objectives, and skills. Everybody's experience is different, so sometimes I understand something more easily because it's similar to the science or the biology that I pursued in my previous career. Um, or sometimes a military pilot has a different way of solving a, the same problem or a unique way of solving a completely different problem based on their unique skill set. So I really think that in order to truly solve the complex problems that we will be faced with, especially when we start thinking about more exotic types of space travel, going back to the moon, going to, a Mar going to Mars, or exploring somewhere completely new. We really need to have a diverse team, one that has a real breadth of different experiences and skills so that we can all bring something different to the table in order to work together and solve uh, whatever problem it is, whatever objective that we have. And I see that all the time throughout our training. It's really interesting to see all the different ways that different minds solve a problem. Um, also, it just makes things so much more interesting when everybody provides this different experience and perspective. Uh, if we were all the same like anything in life, I think the world would be a truly very boring, boring place. Well, I've flown with uh, astronauts from other countries, in my case mostly European, but I've also worked with Russians, with Japanese. Um, it, it, it gives you a richer experience. There are some difficulties because there are cultural differences that um, you, you really have to accommodate. And, and there have been examples of cultural misunderstandings, including some gender misunderstandings, because relations between men and women are often conducted differently in different cultures. And you, you have to learn other cultures, how, how they do things. Uh, for me, that's always been interesting. I've always enjoyed travel, uh, speaking different languages, learning to live in different cultures. So for me, it, it makes the experience much richer, and, and I think it's been very valuable for the space program. Because again, there's talented people all over the world, and we want to get everybody involved in making a contribution. It's the first time that we've had 50% women and 50% men in any class of astronauts before. And I think that's a truly great thing. Uh, I think the very positive outlook on it and the, the real genuine feeling that all of us has is that it's really not been a challenge for us. We're very fortunate to be from a generation where we were never told that we couldn't do something because we were women, or not even just because we're women, because of where we came from, or what we look like, or whatever component it is of what makes us all unique. None of us felt like there was something we couldn't do based on any of those things, and so now I think we're truly all just part of one team, you know, team human, as you kind of say, and, um, and that's, I think, not to take away from the challenges that other generations have had for us, whether it be female, or race, or any other, um, any other element that may have been discriminated upon in the past, there were those challenges, those challenges are real, but I think it's a very positive thing now that we are beyond that. So sometimes I think it's actually better to not keep drawing attention to it. For example, uh, in the media, people are often interested in interviewing the four females in our class, which is a, you know, a good thing if it, if it does have a positive impact on a young girl that makes them want to pursue math or science or any of the STEM fields, then that's a valuable one, and I, I hope that I can have that kind of influence. But sometimes I feel like it's better to just show the whole team together because we're not just the four women doing something and the four men doing something. It's the eight of us together working as one team and working side by side and doing everything together. So I think sometimes it's better to not keep highlighting it. In that way, we may actually keep these differences and keep 
re-emphasizing these things as a problem or a situation when they're really not anymore. We really are all just part of the same team and with the same goals. And so I think to show us in our natural element working all together as a team may be more effective.